continue, I've got some, I've got three uh, icons from, from material icons, um, just from here. And essentially we're just gonna, they're not exactly the same, but they're good enough. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in here. Um, what I did think I was gonna do was, um, was, was to create another file and this is then called navbar.html. And what we're going to do is, you will see in a second, that there is some method in my madness. And take away its main body. And then navbar here, we're going to say 200 and like I said you will see that there is some method in my madness. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to create this by itself and uh, at the moment we'll just put um, new line height wrapper, that shouldn't be 20, that should be 2. And we'll say that's red. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm individually gonna, gonna fix this. Okay, so I can work on it. Um, I can work on it as we go along. So let's get a bit of hovering over these buttons first of all. So at least we know that stuff is working. Okay, so let's have a look here. And we've got navbar button. This is the, this is the hover event that we're, we're interested in, okay? So let's come down bottom and navbar button hover and we'll say background equals then nothing too difficult. Okay, now we've got got that. Ah look, that's fine. Let's what sizes did I make them? 33. Okay, let's make them 33%. Take the margin away. And see how that looks now. That's better, but you can see it's not fitting perfectly in there. Well, margin right, text color, column. So yeah, the, the problem here is that it's not uh, essentially completely um, it's not the whole width because 33% is still, I don't think it makes any difference if we say 33.3. Oh look it did. Okay, so now we've got rid of that here, but now we need to make sure this line, um, and let's say 33.3 .3 as well. So it's, um, let's say orange. Now we get the orange, okay? And this bottom bar, the main the main line itself, uh, main line wrapper. So we want then purple. So here we're interested in this the main line under here. So it's now purple. So we want to know that by default, these buttons, um, the button line, sorry button line by default um, is clear yeah so background color none now we need to come here and when this when this hovers do the background but this is then going to be bar button line background color also to this color here that would work um, Aquaman, still yellow. What did I do wrong there? Oh, okay, I did the... Okay, 
So navbar line, what's, uh, let's have a look at this again. Navbar button line, we want to know when we hover on this. Okay, let's This one goes red. So it is there is the hover. We can I can see it there just very very slightly. We're getting it. Now I'm pretty certain that I was correcting what I wrote there. That should be when that hovers. When that hovers, then we then do. Well, we have to concat. Oh, let's get that. Okay, I'm forgetting how to do that. But once again, we're going to skip over that. That seems to be. Hmm. What am I doing wrong there? When that hovers. Okay, we're going to skip over this again. So let's let's get these let's get these icons in there, shall we? So it's they're pretty 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 small, the text. Um, so now we need to split this the, this actual button down into two to two parts. All right. <clears throat> so we've got navbar button. Then has a we're going to have a, a span. No, no, we don't want a span. We want could we have a span? I suppose we could actually. So we'll call this an icon, and then we'll call, um, yep. Oh my dear. And then call this label text or the button text. Okay, third time's charm. Okay, so we've got icon and button text. Let's come here and say icon um, button text. So icon is going to float left, which means this needs an overflow hidden. Width equals 25 pixels, height equals 25 pixels, background color equals blue. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that seemed to work. Okay, and then button text. Font size equals 0.8 with an E in. Color equals DDD. Wait, come on. Yeah, it's looking good. And they're coming together. So next, background image. I've done this wrong. URL assets bell. Look at that. Okay. Like I said, I haven't done this for a while. But Position, repeat, background size. Hmm. Oh, I think that's not going to be correct. Oh, look, it did work. All right. <clears throat> so icon, there we've got the bell. And the text is working pretty, pretty nicely. Let's have a look. It needs a little bit of positioning. So the bell needs to... Uh, <clears throat> come from the left, 10 pixels, and then um, it was 60, so 25, uh, we've got 35, well, let's make it 30, a bit easier to work with. And then at the top means we've got 15, margin top equals 15, should be right. Yep, and 
change that. It's looking good. Actually, that's so 20. Oh no, that's not going to work. So background repeat, maybe. Repeat equals no repeat. Okay, but background position x center. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Background position y center. This would be awesome. Oh, excellent. I've done this for years. Um, okay, so now um, we can essentially copy all of this again. Margin top, float left, width, no, height, no, 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 no. Color, that's looking good. So we're going to give it a height of 30 because we can then give it a line height of 28, maybe. That sits nicely here. Let's knock away this background color now. Yeah, it's looking good. And it has like a kind of blue, a bluish color. So um, I'm going to stick with a 333 for the time being. And that's probably got too much margin we'll just put margin left to zero yeah and oh, it's looking good maybe we can do this to 29 yeah it's looking good now okay so now we come to our nav bar and copy this yeah copy this put it in there Just put in there messages, notifications, and we're going to say here icon notification. Yeah, and this one we're going to say icon messages, and this one we're going to say icon. So then we come here and we copy this and we say icon messages and we can throw all this away, throw all this away and then icon notifications, notifications and comments home, change this to home, that's bell. And that's messages or message. And this should work now. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, so text. Did they not have text there? That text. Is your text not showing up? Something's gone wrong there. Let's have a look. So you've overflowed. So we're going to have to maybe uh, let's have a this. I'd say that that I would say that that there is not. Font style vertical line font size 13. Okay, maybe they have hard coded it. So font size, let's say 13 pixels. Let's see how that then copes with this. Okay, fixed message messages. So it shows maybe we need to go down, let's say 0.6 for in. Oh, look at that. So fix that. This notification seems to be a little bit 
could be a little bit bigger, I suppose. So now we can just play around with the. So we'll then. This will be our base width. So then we'll say I've got notification button, and we'll remove that, and we'll remove that. And then this is the home messages button. And the home will knock that down by 0% and put that up by. So now we need to update this. And um, it's home. Notification and this one's then messages. Did I name it messages or message? Messages, I did. Okay. Okay, it's looking good. So that's looked like it didn't move at all. Or it did actually. Oh, thirty percent. Maybe we can go down even further. Or did I just do something totally wrong there? Oh no, I didn't. Okay, it's looking better now. So that's got a little bit more. And maybe, uh, maybe we can take a little bit off notifications. So we'll take 2% off that. And we have 2% to messages. No, didn't like that. So let's give 1% well there. What happened here? It's 37, 35. It's better. Okay, that looks looking good to me. So I'm happy we can remove this horrible red background from, what are we doing here? Purple. Oh, we've got red. Okay, we'll just generally remove that background from there. Move by inner, move that one as well. Background color equals none. Well, if it's got none, then it can have none, and that one can have none as well. Move by line wrapper. Move by white can go as well. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so now it's got column wrapper, turquoise somewhere, button hover, oh look, of course yeah because the main body is then turquoise, so let's come to our layouts and <coughs> wrap as background as that there, let's remove this, okay looking good now Let's remove this. And we've kind of got, got something now. I'm going to have a quick change of this cursor. It needs to be when it's hovered, is to be wherever it was. Okay, cursor equals pointer. That's a bit better. There we go. That looks a little bit better now. Okay, we'll solve this line, this line thing as we go along. But not looking too bad so far. It's not looking fantastic, but it's not looking too bad. Um, so I think that kind of showed how, how to do that bit. That text is like bold actually. Let's go and make this text bold, button text. We can do font weight. Now I believe like 800 or something would probably do it. A bit better. Okay, that's good. So let's continue on now with. Um, actually, now that I've done, uh, I've done this this nav bar here. Then in the next uh, video, I'll, I'll do this part of the nav bar. Okie dokie. Right. See you shortly.